The following question reads that the diagram shows Boltzmann distribution of energies in a gas. The gas undergoes a reaction with an activation energy Ea. The peak of the distribution is labeled at P. So this is your Boltzmann distribution. You have these uh, energy levels, different particles in a container. So for example, you have this container and there are particles having different energies. Now most of the particles would have energies uh, that would be closer to these average energies. So the height of the graph is the proportion of molecules of the number of particles. So most of the particles are going to have energy that would be that would be uh, close to the average energy. The number of particles having energy uh, that is considered to be high, that's going to be few. So the graph is not going to have a very, it's not going to rise very quickly over there because there would be fewer particles in this container that would have very high energies or similarly very low energies. So this over here, the number of particles having very low energies is also going to be fewer. So most of the particles would have energies that would be close to this average energy. So uh, the peak of the distribution is labeled P. So most of the particles are having this particular energy over here. Now the question is, if the same reaction is carried out in the presence of a catalyst, which statement is correct? Now when you add a catalyst, what would happen is that this over here is the normal activation energy. So these are the particles that are having energy that is considered to be greater than the than the activation energy. And these are the particles that can undergo undergo successful successful collisions because they are energetic particles. They have energy that is greater than activation energy. When you add a catalyst, what does a catalyst do? A catalyst decreases the activation energy. So let's say the activation energy mark of the catalyzed reaction is over here. Now more particles are going to have energy that would be greater than the activation energy and more successful collisions would now occur. Previously only these particles were capable of uh, reacting successfully. But now with the lower activation energy, these particles can also react successfully. They could collide successfully. So you have more particles having, having energy greater than activation energy. So more successful collisions could be carried out. So the options now are, if the same reaction is carried out in the presence of a catalyst, which statement is correct? The first one is the peak is at a lower height and the position Ea moves to the left. Nothing happens to the shape or the energy distribution of the graph. Catalyst does not do that. The catalyst simply shifts the activation energy to the left. Uh, option B is the peak P is at a lower t height and the pos position of Ea moves to the right. Again, nothing happens to the peak. The peak P remains the same height and the position Ea moves to the left. This option is going to be the correct option. The graph pretty much remains exactly where it is, except that the activation energy has moved to the left.